A brand new study last month shows a causal link between a deficiency of an essential nutrient and mineral and anxiety. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Momo 634, the daily podcast chock full of faith filled inspiration and motivation. Please like, share, and subscribe. Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. I tend to share a lot of studies here on this podcast. Just like when I share Bible verses, I link the sources because I want you, the listener, to be able to see what I say for yourselves. That said, just listening to commercials these days for medicines, the fine print is a mile long, may cause irritability, sleeplessness, do not operate heavy machinery, and the like. It seems like everything is bad for you, or there are warnings attached to just about anything you'd want to eat or drink. My elderly aunt used to say about all of these warnings, you gotta die of something. I offer this preface because we've all searched our symptoms online in search engines or medical apps and websites, sometimes making 2 plus 2 equal 5, and come to the conclusion we're dying of some rare thing we can't even pronounce. So I'm sharing this scientific study with you, but you need to do your own due diligence as it's not as straightforward a causal link as other things I've shared. But because it's about mental health and anxiety, I wanted to make listeners aware of it. Perhaps I should say, and you'll understand why shortly, that you should take all of this with a grain of salt. Truly, because that's the mineral and nutritional element we're discussing today. A study last month out of Japan shows a link between a drastic form of sodium deficiency called chronic hyponatremia or CHN, and anxiety. The article in Neuroscience News states, quote, Their findings, published online in the journal Molecular Neurobiology on May 14, 2025, revealed that CHN alters monoaminergic signaling in the amygdala, a brain region critical for processing fear and emotion. While CHN has been associated with cognitive impairments, our study is among the first to provide evidence that it also leads to innate anxiety-like behaviors through changes in brain chemistry, explains Dr. Fujisawa, end quote. This outcome occurs over a sustained period of time living with a sodium imbalance, affecting the amygdala and serotonin and dopamine levels. All had contributing roles, as did age and other factors such as health conditions, and the study showed an improvement when the sodium imbalance was corrected. This doesn't mean if you have anxiety you should run out and consume large quantities of salt. We know that hypertension is linked to undesirable health consequences like stroke and cardiovascular disease. I just find science fascinating, even though I was a terrible student in left brain subjects, but enjoy reading about studies related to mental health. Given that OCD and anxiety are real, it's easy to get freaked out by reading these studies, just like researching your symptoms on medical websites. So get the full information from reputable study sources. I'm linking the study sources I used below. And if you have concerns, discuss them with your care team before making dietary changes. Psalm 139.14 says, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and I know this very well. Chime in with your thoughts below. Thanks for listening to Momo 634 motivational moments just for today. Please subscribe, give it a like or review, follow along on social media or your favorite podcast platform, and tell a friend. To have episodes and the corresponding meme emailed to you, 
subscribe at momo634.com. To receive bonus episodes and support this podcast, become a premium Substack subscriber.